Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day today. But I'll tell you what, it's about to get even better. You may be asking yourself why. How's it about to get any better? Because we have the first mods for the G8. That's right guys, behind the camera right there are the new mods for the G8. So before I turn around and show you what we got, I want you to tell me in the comments below what you think it is. I'll give you a couple minutes to wait and see what you think it is. Boom. There it is, guys. Would you just look at it? So as you can see, guys, we decided to go ahead and go with the Corsa exhaust. And not only the Corsa exhaust, but also went all out and decided to go ahead and get the long tube cooks. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why didn't you just get the uh, exhaust first and then later get the, the long tubes? Well. Funny story behind that. The reason that I decided to go with Corsa uh, exhaust and the Cooks headers is mainly for one reason only. A couple years ago, I had a 2008 Mustang GT. Uh, I love that car as the S197 platform. Uh, it was a five-speed V8. And when I bought the car, it had Flowmaster axle and, and no other exhaust work. Uh, so. A couple months after that, I decided to go to AmericanMuscle.com, uh, which if you have a Mustang, is a great website. I got everything for that Mustang on that website. Uh, not sponsored by them or anything, but it's just great guys. Uh, they ship fast, it's a good website. So uh, I had the Flowmasters on there, which is what was on it when I bought the car originally, uh, and I decided I want a little more tone out of it. So what I did was I got a, uh, an X-Pipe from a BBK X-Pipe. Um, so when I had the Flowmaster and the BBK X pipe on there, I had a tune. Uh, it was nice, sounded good, no cats. Um, and then I was leaving work one day, the car was lowered a little bit and it wasn't welded on anything like that. And I scraped and I actually ripped the exhaust away from the car and, uh, and it crinkled the exhaust beyond repair. So I had to go and get a new exhaust. So once I did that, I was looking on American Muscle again, uh, trying to find what exhaust I wanted to go with. And I went on YouTube and I typed in, you know, exhaust for 2008 Mustang GT uh, and listened to all the different comparisons that YouTube had to offer. Comparing that with what the site had to offer, I knew that I really wanted to go with a full exhaust. I wanted long tube headers. Uh, and they had a package on there that was really affordable at the time from Pipes. Um, I know it's just over a thousand dollars for the whole system, long tube headers, X pipe, uh, and axle back system. So that's the route that I went with. Now, was it a good system? Yes. Was it easy to install? Pretty much. Um, and it did what it was supposed to do. It gave me a, a bump in horsepower and it sounded really good. Um, but it was a little on the cheaper side of the quality and the sound wasn't exactly where I wanted. You know, my brother at the time had an S197 that just had axle backs on it that were um, FRPP axle backs. And in my opinion, sounded way better than my uh, pipes exhaust that I had. Now, nothing against pipes. Uh, I've heard some 5.0s, some newer model 5.0s with pipes on there and they sound amazing. But on my three valve that I had, um, I just didn't like it as much. So from that point forward, I decided that if I ever decide to go and get exhaust again, uh, full exhaust, that I would get the best there was out there. And so when I was trying to make up my mind on the G8, what exactly we wanted to go with, I decided just to go ahead and go all out, get the inch and seven eighths long tube Cook's headers uh, and the Corsa Extreme exhaust, uh, which sounds phenomenal guys. So let's get to unboxing this and see what she looks like. Oh my gosh, guys, there it is. The bread and butter. And it comes with a sticker. I mean, that's worth like 10 horsepower right there. Now guys, one thing that I didn't know that I just found out about this exhaust is that the tips, they're not flush. I don't know if you can see it. 
they're not flush, they're actually staggered. So, when you come around to the back and look at the exhaust tips, they're actually gonna go with the flow of the bumper instead of just being straight across. All right, guys, and this is gonna be our X-pipe system. Woo! So there you go, guys. This thing is gonna be screaming, and I know that we're gonna see a whole lot of power gains out of this, too. Are we gonna dyno it? Yes, we are gonna dyno it. Uh, I've gotta find a good place that has a dyno. I believe the closest one to me is probably in Memphis, uh, but we'll make uh, a scheduled appointment to go get that done. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to have this car taken down to my buddy's shop uh, and we're both going to put it on there uh, and tune it with HP Tuners. The guy that uh, that's done some of my other vehicles, he's an absolute whiz at it. He does a great tuning job. Um, he doesn't do just uh, Chevrolet stuff. I've seen him do Fords, Dodge, he does all kind of stuff. Great guy. He's got his own YouTube channel, Gears and Octane 526. Uh, I'll put the link to his YouTube channel down below. And with that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I know that you guys are excited to get all this stuff on. I'm excited to get all this stuff on, start making some power, making some noise. I'll see you guys next time. Almost forgot, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a great day.